tip five for talking to your friends about Jesus. T tip five is listen. I wonder what you're like at listening. Some of us are naturally better at than it than others. There's a friend of mine who is just a great listener. She can be in a busy room and I know she might have lots on, but it's like all of that disappears and her focus is completely on me and listening to what I have to say. It's a great gift. Because you see, the danger is often when we listen to people, we're not really listening. When we, uh, when we listen, we're often doing um, a couple of things. We're either kind of looking like we're listening, but really we're just waiting to respond to them. Or um, we might look like we're listening, but really what's going on inside here is formulating a response or an argument in return. Now, the, the kind of listening that we need to do when we're, we're talking to people is that kind of active listening where we're really hearing what they're saying, not thinking what we're going to say in response, not formulating response, but just listening to, to what they say. We thought last time uh, in the last tip about taking conversations deeper, moving from interests to values to worldviews. And maybe we think when we get to that kind of deeper level, that's the point we, we speak. I want to suggest actually that point is the point where we really need to listen. Not listening to wait to respond, not listening and formulating an argument back, but really listening, actively listening. Let me suggest um, three ways in which you, you might try and be better at actively listening to people. Uh, just work harder at hearing what they're saying. Uh, and then uh, as you're hearing it, try to understand what they're saying. So you might want to come back and say, I think you're saying this, is, is that what you're saying? Uh, and then uh, as you're listening, try and understand what they're feeling as well. So if you do those three things, people will start to feel like they're really listening to you. Because look, here's how it works. If we don't feel like we're being listened to, we won't listen to what people are saying to us. And when we, we move conversations deeper, we need to just work really hard at listening really well, hearing what they're saying, understanding what they're saying, and feeling it. And it's only as others feel listened to that they'll be willing to listen to us. It's kind of how relationships work, isn't it? with the kind of gift of reciprocation. We feel listened to, but we listen to someone else. It's just the same as we look to talk to people about Jesus. Really listen, actively listen. And as you've listened and understood and felt what they're feeling, we then may well just have the gift of being able to respond and speak back to them.